baby. I remember walking down Bay City as a kid from one grandmother house to the other grandmother house, which is about four or five houses in between. <laughs> but one day on one of those walks, I envisioned what my future wife would look like. It was just a vision of a face, but it was a pretty face, my own pretty hair, and the most distinctive part of it was she had a mole. That was the part that stuck out to me all these years since a kid of what she would look like. Because I had never seen that before until I met you. But yet and still, with me having that vision or the blueprint that was shown to me as a kid, I still pretended it took a long time with a woman that knew her worth out of it. He laid it out for me when I met you. It was marriage, and a home, and kids. But of course, I did my own thing. We had kids first, then a house, now we get mad. Just think, we're here. I wrote my vows about six years ago. As I read them, I say, wow. To say years today after day of not getting married, just to begin to tell myself I didn't even want to be married. Yet, I'm writing my vows because I knew this day would eventually be my forever. I love you for knowing when I was scared. You didn't ask, you just said, baby, you're gonna be okay. We got this. When I fell down, you cut the lights on and showed me that we wasn't in the dark. When I cried and threw the towel in, you laid the towel down and said, let's just make a picnic. Justin, I don't want perfect. I just want us to never stop loving, to never be afraid, and never forget the family is everything. to you, provide for you and the kids, and be patient. Baby, you can exhale now, because I'm a thousand percent sure that you are my future. First bus is just sitting there. Keisha has pledged their vows one to the other with a power invested in me by the state of Texas. I now pronounce that they are man and wife. What God has therefore joined together, let no man put asunder. You may salute your bride.